Everybody loves chili cheese fries. We're going to elevate these potato skins. These are guaranteed to wow your guests at your next party, tailgate, barbecue, pool party. Uh, hello, I am Ron. Welcome back to Gimme Some Oven. Now, I'm going to show you how to nail these russets for that perfect cook. Okay, it's time to nail these russets. No, I'm serious. We're going to actually nail these russets. We're going to physically put these nails into these russet potatoes. You see that? Each one of these will get a nail. What this does, these nails get super hot, so they help cook the potato from the inside out, giving you that perfect cook. We picked these nails up, I believe it was from Ace Hardware uh, in the barbecue section. I'm sure you can, you can get them on Amazon or wherever, but that's I think I believe that's where we got these. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this good extra virgin basil oil. And I'm going to pour oil, I'm going to smear oil all over these potatoes. This is good oil. And then I'm going to take some sea salt. Just normal sea salt. Pull them around in the oil and salt. These are going to be delicious. Delicious. And now I have my oven set at 400 degrees. We're going to cook these for approximately, we're going to bake these for approximately 50 minutes. And then we'll check them for softness. And then we'll continue from there. There we go. Fresh out of the oven and very, very hot. Now. Next thing I got to do is remove these nails, and they're hot, so. They come out really, really, really easy. Okay, next thing I do is I'm going to cut these potatoes in half, lengthwise. Ah. They look delicious. Oh, they these potatoes are so. Look at the, how easy that knife went through there. I think I could eat them just like that. Yeah, I think I could too. I mean, this knife is going through them like melted butter. It's crazy. Those those nails work so good cooking. That's when we discovered that a few years ago. I was like, wow. You put it on the barbecue grill in the oven, no matter how you do it, we put those in that, don't do it in the microwave. But on the grill or in the oven, these potatoes cook up so nice with the nails. You have some fireworks you put it in the microwave. Yeah, yeah, you put it in the microwave, you're gonna, you're gonna have problems, so don't do that. Yeah. What she said. They smell delicious. They smell delicious, they look delicious. Hurry up, I'm hungry. Now, we got to carve out the boats. If I do that, look how nice, easy this comes out. I'm going to leave about a quarter of the potato in the bottom here and on the sides. Also, the skins, whenever you put that olive oil on it and the um, salt, that get, makes the skins a little bit um, harder so that you can work with potato better. Yep. What she said. And don't worry, these potatoes that I'm taking out of here are not going to go to waste. I have a four-legged friend. That loves potatoes. Of course, she loves just about any food. So, or you could freeze this potato if you want to put it in some potato soup later on, or whatever another recipe. If you didn't want to feed it to your four-legged friend, or you could just make mashed potatoes out of it. Just cream them up. 
What we got left here? Three more. Now what I'm going to do is, obviously I'm not going to eat these all right now. So what I what we don't eat today, I'll just freeze. And what you can do with that was freeze them and then pop them out. And pop them in the microwave or in the oven or something. Some lunchtime little snack. Eat at lunch. I'm going to have it as a side dish with a meal through the week whenever you don't have all that extra time to um, put together a recipe like this. Uh-huh. Now, if you were taking this to a tailgate or to a party, you probably want to, um, depending on your crowd size, um, do even a little bit more. Today, they were just doing it for you guys. It's just us two here. You know what I say? Get in my belly. That's how much we, we took out. So like I said, we're going to take that and you can either mash it up for some mashed potatoes or you can give it to the dog or eat it. Mm. All right, so now what I'm going to do is what I have here is I have some melted butter with garlic and parsley in it. And I'm going to, I'm going to coat the, both sides of this potato real good. And then I'm going to stick it back in the oven for about 10 minutes on 400 degrees. Now I'm going to flip them over and I'm going to coat the other side. And then I'm going to put a little salt on them again. So they should get all nice and crisp, crisped up real good. Okay. Now I'm going to go take these and put them back in the oven for 10 minutes and I'll be right back. All right. Let me get them out. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Woo, we're about to fill the boat. So, what we do next is I'm, I'm using Colby cheese. You can use sharp cheddar, you can use whatever kind of cheese you prefer. But basically, all I'm going to do is put a little cheese in them. We got two, four, five, two, four, six. Seven, right? You can put the cheese in all of them. Okay, we'll put cheese in all of them. We like I said, we're gonna freeze some of them, but you can freeze them. You can put the cheese in it and freeze them. Yeah, just not the sour cream. Yeah, I'm out of cheese. Got one that's died. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to stick these back in the oven just for a minute, just for a minute, just to. Melt the cheese a bit. Cheese is nice and melted in there. Now comes the final steps. The moment you've been waiting for. Oh, I've been waiting for. So, when at the beginning of the video I told you we were going to elevate up. And at the beginning of the video I mentioned about chili cheese fries. Well, what we have here is homemade, delicious. I'm, I'm not just saying I'm cereal. I'm serious. I'm cereal, okay? <laughs> this is Cincinnati chili. This stuff we made, my woman made, is so, so good. This is a very versatile chili. This can be used on your potato skins. It can be used in chili cheese fries. You can use it on pasta. Hot dogs. Hot yum. dogs. Hamburgers. Hamburgers. We put it on the hamburgers. If you look at my our smash burger uh, video, what, this is what we used. We used Cincinnati chili. If you'd like to have this recipe or you'd like us to cook you some, Mention it down there in the comment section and she'll hook you up. And don't forget to hit that smash the like button and subscribe. So, what we do is put a little bit of chili in there. So you do this instead of the normal bacon, right? Everybody puts bacon. Well, there's nothing normal about me, so. Add a little bit more cheese. Just a little bit. Just the reason why I do that is because there you go. 
Just remember that when you're cooking. I said, why are you putting that? Because now, I'm gonna add a little bit of sour cream. Just a little dab of sour cream. A little dab will do you. little dab will do you. Ooh. I gotta have gloves to protect my teeth. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm part time. I'm a hand model. No, I'm not. Okay. Now, final touch. We have fresh green onions, fresh chives, scallions, whatever you want to call them. Sprinkle them on top. How'd that big get guy cut. get there? That one didn't get cut. Who's the Who's the sous chef here today? Oh, that was me. Looks delicious. Let me show you something here, okay? Let me show you people something. Look at this. Look at that. It's crunchy. Very crunchy, very crispy. But the potato still has the softness in the middle. That is a delicious, delicious elevated next level potato skin wow your friends people make them thank you very much have a nice day hit that like button hit that smash that uh subscribe button leave a please leave a comment in there let me know the video is good the video is bad do this do that i don't care put something in the comment section to make me read it all right y'all have a good day